Do you want to learn how to make a beautiful ombre using nothing but paint brushes and acrylic paints? Well, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful tumbler design. And if you're not a glitter person, you don't have to use any glitter because I'm going to teach you how I made this beautiful ombre just using paint brushes. Inspired by my good, good friend Yvette, the owner of Maestro Creations, she made a really beautiful cactus cup years ago and um, hers was glitter and a lot more beautiful than mine but I've been inspired by that cup and this is actually the second time I recreate a cup inspired by that cup so I hope you enjoy it I'm gonna sand my tumbler a little bit this is a prepped cup already but I just sanded off a little bit of that finish just to make it you know, ready, just to make it ready. Just like when you, you prime your face for your makeup, you know, we're priming it a little bit. And then I took a little plate, a uh, plastic plate. No, is this? Yeah, that's plastic. Yeah, that's plastic. Cardboard? No. Plastic? Eh, I don't know. It's the one I use for my chicken nuggets. So I took a little paper, oh, paper plate. There you go. And I put my acrylic pour paints that I got from the Hoobie Luby. And I am going to be using Wet n Wild brushes for my paint that's a tip that i learned from yvette from my star creations um she's so right that helps your paint go on a lot smoother and i really like it so what i did was i started with my yellow because we're gonna ombre up the cup look at look at her isn't she love okay sorry um so we're gonna start with the yellow and then orange going up if you did see me when i was mixing the colors i added just a little little bit of yellow to the orange to lighten lighten it a little bit not have it be so deep so what I did was I laid my yellow and then I laid the orange where I wanted it to be, but I left a tiny little bit of space in between. Um, that's because that's where I went back in and blended the colors. I got just a tiny little bit. I got my brush just a teeny little bit wet with paint. And then I kind of started blending out those colors in the middle. And if you mess up a little bit, you can take um, a paintbrush and go back and fix it. I recommend having like three or four paintbrushes because you don't want to cross contaminate your colors. Um, otherwise, it's going to be hard for you to get that ombre. I know it's ombre, but it's so much more fun if you, you know, mispronounce stuff. You know, that's what I tell myself to make myself feel better about my English. <laughs> so just kind of go back and forth in that middle section as much as you need to until you feel like you have perfectly blended it until you feel like it looks good until you're happy with the product um take your time this is not a race my like my ombre isn't like necessarily flawless because i kind of wanted it to have like brush strokes kind of like a sarape like you know how when they do the hand painted ones i wanted it to have like that texture and that's precisely why i didn't cover this with glitter because this is the look that i was going for now, obviously, as some of you may know, I am from Arizona, so I'm a desert babe, I guess you can say. So I don't know, I just thought this would be a cute little cup to make because not everybody loves glitter and not everybody who makes cups loves glitter and not everybody who receives cups likes glitter. So you'll have some customers that maybe want a pretty cup, but they don't want the glitter or maybe, you know, they're just more of a simple kind of gal or gentlemen so this is just a really nice option for you to be able to make a design and not necessarily have to put glitter on it um it also makes your project a little bit faster but i followed the same method oh no you saw my you saw my earpod hello i followed the same method at the top i did my neon pink at the very very top left a little space in between and then went back and blended that orange with that neon it looks so freaking cute then i used my blow dryer to blow dry it and i well, before I blow dried it, I went back over just to make sure I wasn't missing any spots or just to make sure I had a pretty good, decent ombre. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about ombre like man in Spanish. I mean ombre, like when the colors blend into one another. Look how pretty it is. Then I used my blow dryer to dry it. When it was 100% dry, I went in with 20 mLs. I'm sorry, 30 mLs of epoxy, 15 of A, 15 of B. I know that's a thick coat, but you guys know I like thickness because it just helps you do less layers of epoxy because you're getting that nice thick coverage in less coats. That's just the way I am. Okay, look how pretty it is. 
oh my Landa Santa. So then I took this printable vinyl from Maestro Creations. I do have a link and a discount code if you want to use it. And I like this because this actually comes in a 12 by 12 sheet, of course. It's um, transparent. It has a transparent background. So if you wanted to, you could just wrap it around an entire tumbler and call it a day. Um, but I really wanted to cut them out individually and place them on the cup, obviously, the way you saw me do for this design. I'm really happy with it. Just make sure you take your sausage fingers and really push down like the center, the edges. Make sure you really get it on there nice and good. If there's any air bubbles or air pockets underneath that clear, transparent part, they'll show. So just make sure you rub it in really good. And then I found this really cool font in Cricut Design Space, which of course I'll list in the description. And I'm like, this is so pretty because it's gonna have a little tiny peephole in the middle. And when I put it on my tumbler, it's, you're gonna be able to see that ombra underneath. So I that's why I chose this font. And I like to place the decals on my tumblers when my tumbler is standing up. I know I've always told you guys this, but truly, I just think it helps me get my decal on a lot more straight if my tumbler is standing straight up. So I kind of figure out where it is that I want to place it, and then I stand up my tumbler. I place my decal. Once I'm happy with it, I take my booger hooks and I just rub it in on both ends to make sure it's 100% pressed down. Look at that. That's so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. I look at it. Is she so pretty? Wow. I really like this cup. And considering that it's such a simple design, like I'm just, I'm really happy with it. I think it's beautiful. Look at that. Then we went in with 40 mLs of epoxy to finish it off and seal it. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like all done. Here's our final product. I hope you like it. Please leave me a comment. I love to read your comments. And I will see you guys on Saturday for another tutorial. Besitos.